So welcome to uh, stage 38 of Build the Ecto-1. Um, not a massive amount to do today, um, but we have got some uh, exciting looking parts. Um, so let's go through the parts list um, and be very careful here because I've got myself a little bit confused when I looked at them. Um, so first of all, we have uh, 38A, the siren switch white. Uh, now that's this one labeled B so A is B and that is just a switch and plug uh, part B is the roof lights uh, switch blue which is labeled C so B is C and that is a switch and a plug um, part C engine sound switch blue and green so that is you know I am struggling to see this it's quite small and some of the colors are quite similar so I am just going to switch my glasses around but I believe it's this one labeled um, this one sorry it's this one labeled D and this is one of the problems I have so there we go we can see that that is blue and green um, obviously if you color blind you may struggle here so 38C is labeled D um, 38D horn switch is green and that is this one so part D is labeled E and again that's a switch as is uh, D. So far all of these have been switches with a little plug on the end. Um, 38E is the main light switch grey. Um, so that will be um, right. 38E main light switch grey and this is the only one that's grey and that's quite a short one. So E is labelled F and as you can see that's grey and that's just a switch um, F brake pedal switch black that is labeled G that's black and this is a different kind of a switch this is more of a contact switch so as you see it will make contact when the two pieces of metal come into contact with each other uh, so lastly we have 38G and this one is completely unique because it's got three lights on the end and this is labelled H. So so far we've had no cable A um, and that's just a little plug and three lights. Now I have resisted the temptation to try this out um, because light bulbs, LED lights, they don't require a lot of... Um, uh, power to blow them um, so if you start running lots of batteries through this you could have a terrible time um, and unfortunately my variable power supply has currently broken um, so I'm in the in the process of getting that repaired um, the normal answer re response to that is well why don't you wait until you've repaired it to make the the, uh, the video the, the obvious answer or the simple answer to that is I don't know how long it's going to take to get it fixed or replaced. Um, power supply units aren't cheap items um, so I'm, I'm you know so I'm going to go with that and I will test it as soon as I can. Um, so lastly we have EP screws and we have three plus one spare so that's four in total. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop those into my little pot and they will be ready to go so uh, stage one we need to bring in the uh, dashboard lower panel from this previous assembly stage and we need to fit the switch on the end of the brake pedal pedal switch black which is this one no yes 
this one so it's the black cable it's the one labeled G and that will need to go in uh, we need to be holding it this way and there should be right let me just check this right. so that should go in that way so we have a locating peg and we have a screw hole and then what we will do is we'll obviously secure that with a EP screw so it's a little bit fiddly because the wire wants to jump around um, so when you leave it it's going to kind of pop it around in a different um, because of the way the wire is so I'm going to hold that in place pop the screw in first just give that a, a couple of turns just to whoops my uh, screwdriver isn't playing ball today so we'll just pop that in we'll just give that a couple of turns just to hold it in place and then what we can do is we can hold that down over the locating peg and then we'll just finish screwing that in and we just want to hold that in place we don't need to screw that really tightly in place uh, so once there's no movement on it that's enough and I'm really happy with that yeah so that's stage one done so step two we need to recover the brake pedal which is this one and all we're going to do you see there there's a couple of tabs these tabs are going to act as a hinge and then that will pop into there like so and then what's going to happen is when the brake pedal is pushed down this bit goes down this little tab comes up and you can see that that's going to make contact with that switch and that's it so that will then be sorry we then need a brake cover which again is a previous part from a previous episode and that's this piece here and we're just going to pop that into there like so making sure you line up the screw holes you see there's a hole there and a hole there and this has got two holes and the way I would suggest we do that um, is that we are going to get our, load our screw up onto our screwdriver we will then pop the screw into the holder and holding the brake pedal see I'm holding the brake pedal with my two fingers there we'll just pop that in just enough to bite there we go and then we've got a little pivot there then so what we can then do is we can now just take our time and just line that hole up as soon as I can see that's lined up my um, my screwdriver is really playing up today for some reason there we go so Right, I'm going to turn gently just in case it's not quite lined up there we go I can see that's gone in and then I can finish screwing that in and we only want to hold this down we don't need to screw it really tight remember we're screwing into plastic and then there's our brake pedal now at the moment there's no spring I don't know if there's going to be a spring and you may find there's no there's nothing to test this with at the moment we could make a little circuit up with some bulbs um, but at the moment there's no way to test this um, but what if you ever find once you come to build it the way that these switches work because they're done on a contact 
you may find that the pedal comes to rest actually making contact with this that won't be a problem all you need to do is just bend this top wire up a little bit I'm not going to bend it because I don't know if it's okay or not it looks like it looks like it's going to be fine but you can see how that brake works so if you do have a problem later on just bend that up a little bit but don't don't do it yet um, so that's it then so the rest of the wires um, aren't actually required for this stage um, they're all required later um, so we um, we all we can do is store them um, so I've actually been switching to these lovely drawers so um, yeah let's store our wires um, and what I would also advise doing um, is perhaps just take a quick photocopy or scan of this current issue and store it with these just so you know what each wire is for um, obviously they're easy to identify um, but obviously like we've got an F here so we know that's the main light switch um, this one obviously this one's quite easy because it's got lights attached but that's the dashboard lights uh, C is the uh, roof light switch because it's blue it is blue and then this horrible oh it's this one that's horrible this blue and green see this one I can tell it's green um, so that's the horn switch uh, the white one is the siren switch and this horrible blue and green one look at that it's very hard to tell they could have gone for some colors that was completely different but they didn't so but this is the engine sand switch um, so store those parts carefully and um, it's a little bit unfortunate this is the end of the um, end of the pack um, 39 begins a new pack but um, yeah that's fine we'll get there um, we'll get there eventually so store all your parts safely we've got the steering wheel there we've got a um, couple of other bits and uh, if you've got the room I'll store that in I think I will store that in there actually because that's going to fit in there quite nicely um, because obviously by the time you come to these you wouldn't want damaged parts okay guys so that's it for this issue um, and I'll catch you in the next one take care bye bye